Hi everyone, it's me, Faces by Paciencia. Today I'm gonna share with you two techniques to do eyeshadow on mature and hooded eyes. Keep watching. All right, here's the first way to deal with mature eyes. Uh, the first look is gonna be fairly simple and you can use this technique with any color. I'm going to use a dark green and a gold so that you're able to really see the difference. Um, so here's the first way. You wanna take a matte eyeshadow, any color, and you want to put that all over the base. Try not to bring the color up. You just wanna go into the base and I'll explain to you why as we keep going. Again, you only want the eyeshadow here on the base. Okay. Okay, so it's all over the base. And then what you wanna do is take some gold or whatever is your other color. And you only wanna place it here in the front, right in the tear duct area. You see how it like automatically like opens my eyes. I'm looking in the mirror over here, but you see how it just opened my eyes immediately. So when your eyes are mature or they're hooded, they tend to look smaller. So the idea here is to open the eye and also to make wrinkles less visible. So we're gonna add a little bit more. And if you have flyaways like this, you can just take a brush there and wipe it away. And then you wanna take whatever color you have in the inner corner and you just wanna bring it a little bit in. So you stop about right there. So can you guys see that? You wanna stop right there. And it's something that you don't wanna to be too obvious. You just want it to be light and you want it to be, um, you know, kind of uh, a little bit of, like just to open your eye, like a little touch, but you don't want it to overpower. Go back to your color. Again, the whole purpose is to open the eyes. If you have super small eyes, I only recommend you staying here on the outer corner and stopping about right there. It's to create the dove-like shape. If your eyes are small, again, let me say this, if your eyes are super small, my eyes are not that small, but if your eyes are super small, you wanna stop about right here. Do not bring the shadow in closer because you'll create that open look towards the edge. You, you'll bring them out towards the bigger portion of your eye, okay? But since my eyes are not that small, I'm gonna bring the color in across and you guys will see the effect. Take a clean brush and you wanna just get rid of the harsh lines, sweep it away. Now to make this look a little bit more uniformed, a little bit more smooth, you wanna go into a skin tone eyeshadow. It needs to be the exact skin tone because you wanna kinda of blend the shadow away. So you see how this is really smooth? We're gonna create that same effect here, bringing it all the way up to the top and you wanna just smooth it. Instantly, you have a color that's not as harsh anymore. Okay, once you've created that smooth blend area, I personally, if you look over here, there's a little bit of like orange or like a, a coral pop. I personally think that a color that is bright, uh, you could use colors like orange, you can use a lime green, you can use coral, you can use any kind of browns, terracottas to kind of pop open the skin. This is a good technique for all skin tones. So I'm gonna go into those colors now and I'm going to just cause it to lift. And I don't wanna bring it into the eyeshadow, I just wanna keep it right above. Look how it instantly lift the eye color. It lift the look, it opens my eyes. So it almost gives you an illusion that there's more space here at the top of your eyes between your lid and your brow. Because what you're trying to do with a hooded eye or mature eye is give the illusion that there's more here. Cause usually you're dealing with some situations like this. So you avoid all of that by opening up. So I'm only giving you two ways. There are more ways to deal with mature 
uh, eyeshadow looks. Uh, there, there's a couple of more techniques depending on the situation on the eyelid, but this is just two simple eyeshadow rules that you can follow so that you are not bringing attention to your wisdom. Um, as we say, we, we want the wisdom. We just don't want to bring attention to it. Okay. So again, we want to blend it out. Okay. So this is simple. This is look one. Again, here's the rules. You want to put a highlight color or a color that opens the eyes towards the tear duct on the inner portion of your eye and you only bring it to about a quarter of the way here not all the way and if your eyes are small you only bring the shadow color that you have on top to about right here and then you take a clean brush and blend it forward so that it's not so stark and that's to open the outer corners of your eye however if you have Super small eyes is a different technique for that, and uh, that is not in this tutorial. This is for uh, hooded or mature eyes that are not small. There's a completely different technique if your eyes are small to deal with the top. Again, what you want to do is bring your matte shadow all the way across the top of the lid, and then you want to use a natural tone color, an orange color, something that's terracotta. You can even use a blush color, something to pop and lift the upper lid and so that gives the illusion of a bigger brighter eye because now you're not just seeing the dark color that kind of closes you in or the matte color you're seeing this color on top and it gives you this pretty open eyeshadow look so let's get into look two so to transform this look into the second way that you can do eyeshadow on mature skin, I'm going to go back into that same gold and I'm going to bring in a little bit of eyeshadow on the lid of my eyes. So with mature skin, you never wanna bring shadow up here, never. This area tends to show uh, your maturity a lot faster than the rest of your skin. So you, it's very thin up here. So from this area to here, stay away from shimmers. You want to keep it matte all the time, no matter the look. If you stick with that rule, you'll always have a youthful uh, makeup look. Okay, so we're going to go in all the way to the corner. And we're going to drag this shadow over. Now, here's the trick. I am not going to bring in the shadow the entire way. Not at all. You don't ever want to do that. You want to keep the shimmers at a minimum and you want to keep the shimmers at bay. So, Bringing a bright color from the corner to about halfway, look how much more it's opened my eye. So this is a simple, like, you know, calm look. You can use, like I said, any colors to make it calm. But if you really want your eyes to be open and you have mature eyes, you want to bring in a light color from here to about halfway. And you can even go back into your um, depth color and add that color back in this way because normally I'm not going to have an eyeshadow look on before can bring it in even further so from the tear duct to about a third of the way you're going to have your highlight color and then you use your darker color towards the edge and around the outer corner. But look at the difference. Look how much more open your eye is. So look what I've done. I've kept the shimmer off of the top completely. And I only use about half of the eyelid to create the look. So from the tear duct, I did a right here. And from the tear duct 
to about right here. So a third of your eye is one color and all the rest of your eye is your other color. But look how beautiful this looks. It looks so glam. You could add glitter to this portion. You could add any shimmer color, pink, purple, gold, blue, any color. This works with all shades, all hues, all tints of shadows. All you need to do is keep the general rule and the general rule is you can either keep a simple highlight here and then use a darker matte shade around the entire eye. Or if you really want to glam it up, you add a shimmer color from the tear duct to about a third of the way. And then you use the matte colors from the outer corner to the upper portion of your lid. So I'm going to finish the other eye so that they're even and you can see the finished look. Be right back. All right, so I have added the color to the other eye and you can see how these two different techniques come out absolutely beautiful for hooded or mature eyes. And I am going to zoom out now so that you can see the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to do makeup for mature and hooded eyes. Make sure you follow me on social media and I will see you next time. Bye.